Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I want to show you my take on a classic red lip look. I've already put on my foundation and done my eyebrows. If you do want to see what the products are used and how they look, I'll link in the other video for you. But let's get started. So we'll start with the eyes and I just like to take a wash of colour over the top of the lips. So to start with, I'm going to take my True Colour Eyeshadow Duo in Warm Cashmere and I'm going to take um, this peach colour. As you can see, it's well used. I'm just going to put that over the lid and all the way up to the eyebrow. Next, I'm going to take that iced coffee colour and run that through the socket. And all of Avon's eyeshadows are really buildable, so you can start with a small amount and build it up so it's as dark as you want it to be or as light as you want it to be. Because my eyelids are quite hooded and sometimes my eyeliner can transfer, what I like to do is I just like to take a darker colour through the actual crease so that if there is transfer it's not that noticeable. And I'm going to take my MAC eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take this, this dark brown just a little bit and run it through, through the crease as well. Then I'm just going to grab my brush I was using before and just blend them together. So next is the eyeliner and I'm using my MAC Mega Effects Liquid Eyeliner. I've mentioned this before but I love this, this pen because of the shape of the brush. And then I start, I start by drawing out where I want my flick to go. So one of the really good things about this pen is that you can go as thick or as thin as you like. It all just depends on where you angle it. And it's really smooth. So as you're using it, it doesn't feel like it's running out or that you need to tip it upside down to get, you know, um, to get the ink flowing or not ink, to get the eyeliner flowing. Today for my mascara, I'm just going to use my MAC Bigger Multiplied. Alright, so next we'll put on a bit of bronzer and I absolutely love the Avon Glow Bronzing Pearls. These are in bronze which is in the book now as warm. The only problem is if you drop these little suckers, it's a pain to pick up because they're actually individual beads. So you've got in there the bronzing beads as well as highlighter. So there are two shades. For these bronzing pearls, you got warm and you've got a cool tone. And that's due, the best one to use will be dependent on your skin tone and the undertone to it. But if you're not sure, you know, have a chat to me or your local Avon rep and we'll, we'll let you know which one's going to work best for your skin type. And as I'm sitting here, I just realised I forgot my blush. So give me a moment and I'll actually go get it. Today I'm actually going to use the blusher out of the Blusher Bronzo Duo as I wanted to show you the other alternative to the bronzer. So as you can see it comes with your blusher and your bronze. This is much more of a matte colour. It's not as heavily pigmentated as what the pearls are. So for me I just find I need to use a lot more to get the desired effect. But I do really like the blusher in it. I'm just going to use the same brush as before. And personally, I've put too much on, so I'm just going to take my foundation brush from before, not add anything to it, and just tone that down a bit. So now the most important part of the whole look is the lip. I like to line mine 
when I'm doing reds. Um, I use my Ultra Luxury Lip Liner. You can use the Glimmer Sticks if you have it. It's better if you sharpen them, but I'm a bit lazy today, so we'll just use it anyway. And we'll just line all the way around the lips. The colour of this, by the way, is Rosebud. The beauty with Avon is that you're not limited for choice in terms of lipstick colour. There's so many ranges and so many different colours that I thought I'd actually show you my favourite reds that I wear all the time. So I've got actually my Luxe lipstick in designer red, which is a really nice bright red colour. Then I've got my extra lasting lipstick in Eternal Flame, which has an SPS of 15 as well, which I think that's really unique for a lipstick. Then you've got your 24K lipsticks. So this is in ruby and gold, and as you can see, it's got gold um, flecks through it. So as you put it on, you've got a nice little gold shimmer throughout the lip. And then I've got my MARC Extra Bold Lipstick. This one's in extreme mode, so it's not as strong of a red. It's a little bit more of a purpley pink, but this is one of my favourites. But since I'm going to be going out all day eating and drinking, I'm actually going to use my Extra Lasting Lipstick. This lipstick is brilliant. It doesn't go anywhere. It might, by the end of the day, sort of crack in the corners or maybe, you know, lose a little bit on the inside of the lips, but it doesn't wear off. After about six hours of use, you might find the colour is a little bit more dull from when you first put it on, but it's perfect. If you're going to work all day, going out to eat, going, you know, out for dinner, this is the one you want. And for an extra lasting, like, all-day lipstick, it's really smooth and soft. And it doesn't make... And it doesn't make your lips feel all dry and gross and cracked. And because I'm going to be out all day, to help make my eyeliner stay just that little bit better, I'm going to take the blackest black from my Urban Skyline palette on an angled brush. I'm just going to push that over the top of the liner just to help sandwich it in place and make sure it's not going to move anywhere. It also helps to make it that little bit darker. Then my final touch, because I want this to last all day, is I'm just going to take my CC Goodness Powder and just pop that all through the middle of my face just to make sure it's not going anywhere. Then my final touch, because I want this to last all day, is I'm just going to take my CC Goodness Powder and just pop that all through the middle of my face just to make sure it's not going anywhere. And there you have it. That's my take on a classic red lip look. Hope you enjoyed. If there's any products you do want to see, let me know in the comments. Hey everyone, how are you going? Just thought I'd quickly stop in and give you an update of what, how my makeup looks at the end of the day. I've had this on since 11 o'clock this morning and it's now about quarter to six at night and I have been eating and drinking for a solid two to three hours, <laughs> so I'm pretty tired. But as you can see, the foundation still looks pretty good. I'm starting to slip a little bit, you know, around, around the cheeks and the chin and the lipstick's obviously sort of coming apart on the ends and through the middle. But overall, it still looks good. It still feels comfortable. I don't feel like it's melting off.